636 now. We are tracking Hurricane Dorian as it continues to grow and gather momentum in the Atlantic. The National Hurricane Center warns the system could be a major Category 4 storm when it makes landfall. Yeah, it's been a long time mm -hmm. since they've seen one that strong and uh, coming from that side of the, the water. Uh, the entire state of Florida is in the strike zone as we hear from Jay Gray uh, live with us again from Cocoa Beach. Good morning, Jay. What's the story? Yeah, Owen, Tanaya, good to talk again, and you're absolutely right. Look, every county, 67 in the state of Florida, under an emergency watch at this point. Uh, this is a storm that's building out in the warm waters of the Atlantic, a Category 2 right now. It's going to intensify as it moves closer to the shoreline. It's also going to slow down a bit, which is bad news once it does make landfall, because then you see those driving rains that just continue to pound areas that are already saturated, and that's where you get the flooding, something everyone in Houston knows really all too well, unfortunately. Uh, the problem with this storm also is we don't know exactly where or when it's going to strike. It looks like landfall will likely be late Monday evening into early Tuesday morning, but the entire peninsula of Florida right now is still in the forecast cone. And, and so you've got millions across the state watching this thing and preparing, using this time uh, to make sure they have all the food, water, medicine they may need, and, and also packing up what they may need if they're forced to evacuate. We'll see evacuation orders a bit later once we get a better idea of where the storm is going. Uh, but right now, a lot of tension and a lot of people just wondering what's going to come next. Indeed. We know you'll be there watching the force, Jay Gray uh, in Cocoa Beach. Thank you, sir. We do appreciate it. It's always yep. good to see you, Jay.